Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia here. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sherry Alicia. If you're not new here, welcome back, bitches. We're gonna jump into my February favorites. I can't believe it's the last day of February. Holy shit. We are powering through 2019. Since it's in my hand, my first thing that I loved this month and since I got it in January, I didn't want to put it in January favorites just because I don't know, I didn't feel like I really understood this brush. This is the Morphe E8. E8. Um, I learned while I was in the Morphe shop when I was in California that this is the brush that Lipstick Nick, which is I think Jeffree Star's personal friend or made personal makeup, I don't know. I know that she's the brand ambassador for Morphe. Um, she uses this as foundation. I don't have a really large face and sometimes, especially my forehead since it's like a little bit more warmer, I do like to buff in because I want to like get really close to like my eyebrow area. I just find that this brush just blends so effort effortlessly. Um, it does kind of remind me of my a cosmetics brush. I just found that I was using this a lot. I do like to just use something very precise and I think this is nice to have in your collection. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Morphe because I know there's so much controversy around Morphe and other their products work i enjoy them i don't own a lot but for the products that i do own they haven't failed me it's only been a month so you know don't be so hard on me but this has just been very convenient especially like to get in this area underneath like the upper lip area around here especially like to clean up like if you go a little too crazy with concealer this has just been so fucking great so if you can get your hands on something like this little i feel like you can do a little bit more precise work if you're really trying to give yourself a beat. This is also a nice brush for someone who does makeup on other people. Morphe, shout out. I'm just gonna bunch them together just because I don't want them to be like a separate section. Um, pretty much uh, this Tatcha mask I've used a couple of times, but this most recent time, it was literally a lifesaver. It was like dumping water to my face. If you follow me on Instagram, which I will list down below, then you saw me putting this on the other day. This is literally a hydrating mask. It is for normal to dry skin. I am combination, I'm oily on my forehead, um, and then I get a little oily on my teasel, but lately, I have been on the normal to dry side and I feel like nothing has bounced back except for this. Like this is literally like, you know that feeling when you're extremely, extremely thirsty in the summertime, you're like, oh, water literally, like room temperature, it doesn't just have to be cold. Or when you put aloe on like a sunburn, that's what it feels, it's such a soothing relief to your skin. And then I say leave this on for 20 minutes, there is enough of product which i mean product product i mean the serum that pretty much is attached sort of like and not attached but it's inside of the bag um i say leave it on for 20 minutes if you're more dry on the more like extreme dry side i would probably not use this um going too far into summertime because i feel like the sweat causes more clogging in my skin and uh, clogging my pores so i would i love using this it's winter i do want to do a winter essentials video even though we're like less than six weeks six weeks away from winter uh from spring it has been really harsh there's literally no moisture in the air so sometimes i'll put on concealer i'll put something on real quick and then i feel like things are sitting on my skin and nothing is absorbing i do exfoliate it's just the nature of the beast which is nature so we'll switch over to the glam glow uh thirsty hydrating mark this does tingle just a little bit but i like it i feel like it really gets in my pores it tightens my pores and it makes me feel really fresh while feeling very hydrated i know that it has apple extract and i'm not really sure what the big deal is for that i do leave this one on for about 15 minutes just because like the tingling could get kind of annoying um and i prefer when I put this mask on to hop in the shower, I know like with the Tatcha mask, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned like there's so much serum on them that if you wanted to, after you wash your face and you put this mask on, you could uh, put it back in there. I would suggest maybe put it in like if you have, I mean that's so bougie if you have a personal refrigerator, but if you have a refrigerator that or maybe like a plastic bag or like a Ziploc bag, you can reuse this. 
I like this for 20 minutes, but I just prefer this for 15 minutes and to go in the shower because I feel like um, the way that it like gets tacky to your skin, I feel like you need like a good like scrubbing and you really need like the water going over. Whereas this one, you're just going to like leave the serum on your face and you're going to moisturize and put your eye cream on and go to sleep. You know, there are different masks on the market that do different things. I have been enjoying them both for the hydration. I may do this one tonight just because I want my skin to look really fresh and hydrated and I wanted to bounce back because tomorrow I will be wearing makeup for work. And then this one is my other favorite that I've been grabbing a lot lately. I feel like I've been grabbing this a little bit more than I've been grabbing this. I've appreciated this more this month because it's been so cold in New York City but the Glam Glow Super Mud is the most popular that's in Sephora. It's popular for a reason. It's really good. Whenever I use this I see tiny little holes in my nose and uh, in my cheek area and that's my pores being cleaned out and I love 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 that feeling. I feel like I'll never get tired of that feeling. It's a really nice mask. It lasts two years. It has 24 months on it which I, I really like because um, you know most skincare does expire within six to maybe even nine it might be 12 but it really depends on the product um if you're looking for something that's clearing especially if you have like a breakout it's slowly going down and it's it's just kind of have like that it's in between that weird stage i find that this is sort of like a suction cup without you having to get a tool to like press it down and the ingredients are going to be calming on the skin and it's just it's just fucking good it is just i have good. been loving 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 the roller lash i use this in combination with um the bad gal benefit they're both benefit i used to sleep on benefit their whole display their whole like dynamic of their brand isn't necessarily for me because i feel like they are kind of clueless in a sense and i feel like they don't work enough with brand influencers and smaller influencers just people in general that are fully immersed in the makeup and beauty community and that care so much to the point that like we live and breathe oh my phone's right live and breathe this stuff so it's kind of hard but they've they've done really well with the mascara i am looking forward to their uh what is coming they're coming out with a contour or is it contour or is it bronzer they're coming out with two bronzers it's gonna be caramel and toasted i want to say that it came out this week or maybe it's coming out next week i will be purchasing it and i will be doing a review on my channel because i have never used bronzer i do use sometimes my contour powder but it's like a little too dark you know contours to create that shadow really define the cheekbones whereas bronzer is going to bring warmth like your j-lo like you just left you know miami or whatever so let's see what happens but these two products have been really well i just been loving this by itself but the way that i uh, cocktail it shout out to you will it's my friend from work um he taught me basically to do the benefit or do roller and do benefit but i prefer to do benefit first because sorry to do bad gal first because it's such a waxy um formula so i would rather just coat it and then I would rather curl it. This can be used by itself, but I prefer to use this. If I use this by itself because I just want to quickly get in and out the door or I'm going to throw this in my bag, I'll usually do two coats of this and I will also curl it as well with my Sephora collection. Um, curling um, wand, whatever you call this thing, and it works. It's nothing really anything special. I know the Shamora one is, is really nice and I want to get my hands on it someday, but these two together i feel like my lashes last all day i've had this mascara on for probably going on 10 hours right now and like there's no crusting there's no crusting there's no um like what is it called like it doesn't melt or like disappear or like break down and there's no black under eye and i sometimes get that that but i like i said I, I barely have makeup on today because i need to be working at 10 definitely woke up at 8 35 and I just have a little bit of makeup on. I don't feel ugly, but I also just don't give a fuck because it's cold and I was ready to go home. So if you can get your hands on like the mini version of both of these two and work them together or use them, you know, separately. I say roller lash in particular, I think is really nice. Their formula is really nice. Their um, actual wand is really nice. I'll show you guys a little bit close up. It's just been nice to grab this each month and not have any issues with it. Like even to the point that if I wanted to do a third what well, this would be like my third or fourth coat for the day i could still get that curl in there and separation all right next thing i have is the black radiant perfect tone lip gloss this is just a clear one 
there was a moment when i was out of fenty gloss for like two months and i feel like i was always in shambles like what am i gonna do what's gonna be my black girl new brown girl new and i couldn't find it and i didn't want to cough up 19 dollars for it or is it 19 or 18 dollars for it and i was just like i don't want to buy it right now i'm just gonna i just need a gloss because sometimes i just like to have a topper i will say that i have repurchased fancy because i can't live without it and i love it it just gives me a certain kind of moisturizing color and glossiness that i like but i think it's important to have in your repertoire of makeup a plain clear gloss this is thick i prefer thick lip glosses um I got this, I think, at either Dwayne Reed or what's Dwayne Reed or it's one of these pharmacies that's popped in. Yeah, it, it must have been Dwayne Reed or Walgreens, but this is a this was on sale for like two bucks. Yes, it's more like drugstore beauty supply. It does have mineral oil, but you know what? You know, honestly, I'm putting it on top of like a liquid lip or a lipstick or a liner and stuff like that. So I just like to have a clear gloss and I, la I realize that it lasts long. But the most important thing that I enjoy about this is that I don't have that like inner rim like I just finished sucking dick, you know, white film. That nothing, nothing ugh, drives me crazier than lip gloss that does that. It's like, who okayed this to put on the market? Because they should be. My next thing has been the Violet Voss. I feel like I have shown the Violet Voss for probably two months straight. I got this during my December Boxy Charm. By the way, I didn't cancel it. I forgot. I got it for everyone. And I didn't post it because I was just like, whatever, I don't care about this. But I'm getting March and I was just like, you know what? Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let me see if I might get impressed. I may cancel. Who knows? I'm always changing my mind and very, very, very indecisive. Like, at this point, I feel like on my channel, my go-to three palettes were obviously Soft Glam, obviously Mother Renaissance. By the way, sign off in the comments if you're getting the Riviera palette. I haven't decided if I wanted it yet, but we'll talk about it soon. And I would say, probably my color pop uh, collab with I want to say those are the palettes that I usually gravitate towards too because they have like a color I like um they're warm neutrals there's a pop of shimmer or a pop of color and then I'll just kind of do my basic girl look I'm a basic bitch and I'm okay with that right but this palette sort of took me and I know you're gonna be like bitch this is the same warm neutrals yeah of course it's warm tones and I am loving it but I feel like these are brown girl warm tone colors that look good i feel like it's not even doing justice on camera i feel like i always digging my brush in there not to make a product but because i can add so much without taking away and it goes straight to my lid and it never i very rarely have fallout um almost every color i feel like i could transition into like spring and summer i love that there's a mirror on it even though it's not necessary it's not necessary for something that's so tiny like this is like such a small product could you get a better uh contour product absolutely is there better stuff on the market absolutely my only beef intent is the fact that it's 44 dollars for this much product and i think when it was given to me that it was um when i received this it was wait i'm gonna correct myself when i got this it might have been just wrangled with the rest of my stuff and that's what created it to break but that bothers me when you're spending 44 dollars on a product i would hate to like accidentally like bump into something on the subway and it crack the way that this is am i gonna go crazy over it no but i wouldn't travel with it because of that not that i'm like this traveling fucking influencer but i always think about like people who do go places or do their makeup at their friend's house or whatever whatever the case may be you know those things you have to take into consideration i love the packaging i love that it comes in this little velvet little sleek thing i think that it's really cute and it lives up to its height because it works effortlessly and i can really create the cheekbone it is a neutral color that sometimes i feel like reads more on the cool side but it's not like pink so i feel like it can really it really does me justice when i really want to create like an out of this world contoured look that's like to the fucking gods and i have been using this almost every day that wraps up my february favorites thank you guys so much for watching my channel and i will see you guys next time happy march